what are we here for? We're here on a work trip. Yeah, another, another work trip. Another VIP business. It's an indulge in the CNY festivities in Count JB. Count the minutes in the video and you'll realize how much work that was actually done. <laughs> so we are here at KSL, our favorite hotel whenever we visit JB. These weren't here before. Yeah, it wasn't. Or is it an extension from the restaurant? What you might not know is that KSL stands for King Suleiman Lounge. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, we're here in the little lobby. Ooh, looks really classy and elegant. Oh, and check out my new bag from Sebastian and May. It's not a real McDonald's bag. <laughs> Super cute. I love I it. I look like a serious. <laughs> I really look like a tourist. <laughs> okay, guys, show us the room. They say that the carpet is meant to muffle the sound so that the guests, you know, can have their time to rest. Oh, it's not working. Very inconsiderate, brother. Very inconsiderate. You know, you watch those like Asian movies when they start to open the door, and then you'll hear music. And yeah, then you get the, the Hollywood sound. <laughs> see? And you get the Hollywood movies, right? You always see the families always. Hello? Oh my god, bro, I think I saw something. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> they walk up to the old creaky door, which happens to open, and they open the door. <laughs> and they say something really stupid. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, of course nobody's there! But now you know what you've done, right? You have just announced yourself to the spirit that has been waiting 25 years ago. Before that, the spirit didn't know you're coming. But you're going, hello, hello, hello. You stupid or what? There we go, welcome! Hey! We made it! The room looks good! It's alright. Yeah! I'm gonna show you guys around. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh! Ta da! How often do you see that? You have a BD spray? Electronic like bedding. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the view. So we're on the 15th floor. Ta-da! That place there with the light, with the red and orange light, mm -hmm. that's a famous dessert store. Mm. Maybe tomorrow or something, if you are a good sister, I will take you there. If I'm a good you're... sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always good. I'm a fantastic nothing, sister. That's no, all I get. The Morse code says nothing. fantastic sister. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I just found a cleaner side of the windows. So here you can see the houses and the shops. It's so interesting that we are just 10 minutes away from Singapore. And it just looks so different. So that shop that's opened. Mm -hmm. So that's actually Geylang Lorong 8 Frog Porridge. Yeah, they actually opened a JB outlet here. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. This one here. Are they so, open right now? We should go. Uh, what time I, is it right now? I think, I think it's, it's about 11 plus 12. I don't yeah, think they are there. open that late. For supper. But my argument is always to um, travelers like, you came so far, right? You came across the checkpoint. Why do you want to eat the same food that where you came from? Wouldn't you yeah. want to be trying what people eat here? That's the whole point of so true. touring. All right, around bring us the somewhere then. Yeah. Show everyone where you think is the best Whoa! place to eat. Oh? Right now, we are at Hookah and that's a really cool crown up there. I'll probably film it from another angle and show you guys. What's happening? Yeah, you gotta be on the lookout. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, the... So, this is not a real vending machine. Behind that door is a restaurant and a bar. Look. Wow. It's close now. <laughs> this is so cool.
wonder what happened then. It was a oh. dangerous combination of beef satay and shisha. It caused an occlusion into the outlet pipe and resulted in a thermonuclear explosion. I didn't know there was uranium in that. I think this is the stomach of a lamb. Yeah, the stomach of the lamb. Intestine the, the or something. The inner, the layer, you know? So it's not really intestine? No. Okay. Close up. It's interesting. Cheers. Cheers. So the stomach has embraced, so the meat is very, very soft. So I think there's a marinade on it. Because the first thing I gave me, right, was the, the sweet. and lychee is the shishas well, I mean, the coffee is coming <laughs> it's awful it's so weird. this is how a man does it Can we check out your t-shirt? So I like a variety of t-shirts. So this is my Chinese New Year one. It looks the same. It's just a bigger version of what you're already wearing. It's called a variety. Is it the same? Is it the same or not? It doesn't guys, look like a variety at all. This is also a fish. <laughs> Koi fish, What's is it? <laughs> There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> In Chinese, we have a saying, it says nian nian you yu. Yes, please. Alright. Thank you, thank you. Bye bye. 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 So this one no problem, okay. And and this two. Yeah, these two are not the same size. Well I, I do 30 by 30, but yeah, the size actually of the it is not a square. Oh okay. okay, but then um I make it at least 30 because okay. if I make like the height 30 and then mm -hmm. the width will have less than 30 cm. So I guess you want big one, so okay, I just make it like at least 30 each oh side. God, this is so cool. Yeah. So this is for the medium size. Okay. And this one for the large. Ah, okay. 
so this design is for the large yeah. this design is for the medium mm. okay is I it okay it. yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, i was wearing I like about two inch okay that's fine right yeah, yeah. that's mm. good thank you this is oversized here right? yeah. yeah wow look at that you right. got a fortune inspiration yeah Desserts and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, toast. I'm hungry right. already. Shoots. Look at it. So here we have the Tongguan uh, Nonia special brew. Oh, okay, thank, you. thank you. Look at it, baby. Oh, wow, look at this. So insane. Can I try that later? Looks yeah. really good. Yeah. I am chicken. Yeah, I am chicken. chicken. Yes, and then three of us got these really interesting toasts. So mine is egg mayo, his is peanut, and yours is kaya toast, kaya and butter. And here I have fried noodles with more chicken, more ayam. All right, guys, so let's chicken. tuck in. Let's do it. <laughs> and the crazy coffee. Yeah. Yes. Usually and the camera Nonya. eat first, right? Yeah, usually, usually a camera eats first, but this time, yeah, we can't take it. It looks so good. And then look at the place. It comes with AC. Really nice. Makes me nostalgic, this place. Reminds me of Singapore in the olden days. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's eat. officially addicted to this coffee, the Tongguan Nonya coffee. This is my second cup and also Bobby's second cup. It actually goes very well with the toast. Mm. I'm controlling the addiction. Calories. <laughs> I think I, 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 I must not order <laughs> self-control. So this is where we are now, Jalan Pahang. And it reminds me of uh, our own Haji Lane actually. A lot of very interesting things and they have very interesting graffiti as well. You can already see some of them Different here. Things, and you, see, you can see a pocket of an art. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Glimpse of an art. Careful. Look at this view. I think it's a temple. And of course there's so much culture, so much character along this street. Look at it. Oh wow. Oh, just got water on my face. <laughs> The Japanese tea house. Super cool. And of course, we have more graffiti there. Gorgeous artwork. And along that street, actually, they have very uh, delicious banana cake. We tried it before and we really loved it. Guess what, guys? We're back! Yeah, unknowingly. <laughs> No one knew you were back. And that's the speakeasy door. <laughs> it's interesting. But we can't enjoy this now. Yeah, we can't uh, visit the bar now. We have work to do. We're back to the car. 
shopping time right now. We're at Mid we Valley, South Key. I have no clue where we are. Well, you drove here and you have no clue, then we have a problem, you know. It's because they took a wrong turn. <laughs> One of the biggest malls that we know in JB. Ooh, with a lot of stuff, uh, CNY stuff going on. <laughs> we took a wrong turn, ended up in a car park, couldn't find the exit, so we just parked. Yeah. Now we're here. Ta -da. Yeah. Mall is huge. Look at it. Wow. That is a 98 inch TV. Oh, and we have tried food from here before. Turkish desserts. They're really good. Wow, look at how big that TV is. Chillet. Massive. Giant. How much do you think it is? Brachiosaurus and a Triceratops. Back in time to the Jackie Chan dynasty. Wow, it looks really good. This is the large one. Oh, it looks it looks so yeah, good. Like All ready for yeah, CNY. Like you like it? Mm -hmm. We are here with the pen expert at Sogo. Is it gold or something? But it looks nice. Uh, gold. Like gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're an expert. Oh my god, it looks really nice. Makes me want one. Yeah, me too, man.
extension to the long side. Ear of the dragon bag. Wow. Oh, it's like this one. It's just using a quick button here. All of us are very enamored with the dragon bag, yeah. Yes, so the dragon's got the fur. Using like a perfect for skin wine all year round. So yeah, I love the chain. Two different looks, yeah. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Look at the dragon at the side. What do you think? Mm. I really think it's nice. Here's the hen. Ah, duck tongue! <laughs> the service here is real good and if you pull out this drawer, you have uh, toothpicks and tissues. Can we put some of this one in? Yep. So, did you put any of this one? I'm about to have the chicken soup. I thought it would be very salty. I didn't expect it to uh, be so flavorful and taste so fresh and um, light on your, on your taste buds. So it's really interesting actually. And I'm really enjoying this. Thumbs up! Hello. So people often say I have really good chopstick skills. So I'm going to show you the best way to hold it. The best way to line it up. You start with this like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. This is how you really do it. See this? See this? Here, here, here. This is the official technique passed down from the emperor. Now watch it in action. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. mm. 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 That's good. Okay guys, here's a super honest review of the Hot Pot restaurant. We were craving Hot Pot late at night and found this highly rated mala restaurant through Google. Upon arrival, the staff even helped us find a parking spot. The restaurant's curb appeal is on another level guys, with Chinese influenced decorations that resemble a traditional Chinese inn. I felt like I've been transported to ancient China. All right, now let's talk about the food. The signature buffet is priced at $79.90 plus plus ringgit and the luxury buffet at $119.90 for those wanting to indulge in more premium cuts. We opted for the signature buffet. For our soup base, we chose the spicy mala beef soup at normal spice levels and a mild numbness. Yes, you can specify that. We were allowed to choose three soups, so we added the golden chicken soup and the tomato soup to our selection. The golden chicken soup was my favourite. The mala soup, however, was too oily and filled with too many peppercorns and chilies, which we constantly had to remove to enjoy the soup. The tomato soup was also too sweet for my taste. Oh, and they offer free flow drinks, condiments and ice cream, which is a plus since most hot pot places in Singapore don't offer free flow drinks. 
The pumpkin pie, one of my favourites, is also free flow. All in all, while the ingredients were fresh and of good quality, the soup is the star of a hot pot and in this aspect, they really didn't deliver, in my opinion. Despite the reasonable price and super Instagram-friendly decor, I don't think it's as good as Google reviews suggest. Would I come back? Mm, I might give it another chance, but this time to try the luxury buffet. <laughs> Let's immerse in some Chinese New Year festivities. Ooh, look at those! We're here at NTUC Finals. We just watched the movie Fighter at the uh, IMAX in 3D. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, in the fighting spirit. Mm -hmm. And we're here just grocery shopping because uh, we're shooting a CNY reel tomorrow. So just want to uh, make sure I have everything I need for the shoot. Hmm. Do you think this year's Chinese New Year dragons don't really look like dragons? Yeah, it looks more like that lion. Yeah, it looks a bit funny, right? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> Look at this! Is it a dragon? I look very confused. Is this a dragon? What's this? This is a dragon. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? This one looks like a pig. <laughs> we got some stuff for tomorrow's CNY shoot. So, we've got Korean food for a CNY shoot. <laughs> I got some kimchi pancakes and uh, the ginseng chicken soup. This guy is a chef. He has an Instagram page called The Balcony Cook. Go follow him. And uh, what the chef is stingy. <laughs> beef, right? The thing about beef is you want it to be fattier so that you can get more flavor. Because the taste actually comes from the fat. If you are very conscious, then of course you don't get so much. Oh, sorry, this one with so much fat, you get uh, something more measurable, yeah. and you don't need like crazy marinades and all that that's, stuff. That's if you're more conscious. If you are unconscious, you get this. Yeah. yeah. We are in Chinese New Year paradise. Look at all the goodies. Oh wow, this is super cute. Is this a dragon or is it a crocodile? I don't know anymore. Oh yay, they're really cute bunnies. With more CNY treats. And uh, more Yishun, more low hay ingredients. Ooh. Are you excited mm -hmm. for the festivities yay. to come? Yay! Any of these treats here your favourite? Let's have a look. My favourite is the uh, pompadour. That's usually really nice. Well, the pompadour. You know. Pompadour. Yeah. <laughs> Piper tarts are, are our favourite. Or anything nutty, I like anything nutty also. What, like the nutty professor? Hey, so we just finished filming our last CNY reel of the year. Yay! Thanks to this guy managed to get everything done in time and now he has to rush to work. Oh, poor baby. Also, you like our props today? Which one? King Ghidorah. <laughs> oh yeah, and King Ghidorah of course. Today, the scenes are about having reunion dinner together. So these are what I prepared and these are what we got from uh, NTUC Finest as you guys have seen. This is the aftermath of everything as per usual. This looks really substantial, don't you think? This is my look from Jove. I really love this dress. I'm still wondering when I should wear this. On the first day of Chinese New Year or the second? This guy, he uh, made a uh, Godzilla King Ghidorah t-shirt for the second day and it is in a similar color, like a tangerine kind of color. So I might wear this to go with his so we can have a couple outfits. 
just want to show you guys a close-up of the bowl. This is a gift from my brother. So it's a dragon and it says Fu, which means fortune. And on the other side you have Man, which means full. This means you'll never go hungry. Hmm. I'm hungry. <gasps> oh no. Bobby says we have to show you this. So I'm not King Ghidorah, I'm sorry. But this one, so we got this from Harvey Nicks in the UK, in Leeds. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let me just put light behind it. Alright, so we're showing you the best way to admire this vodka bottle. Ta-da! Yes! Isn't that amazing? It's a dragon. Right inside it. And there are gold flakes to go with it. it looks so majestic. And it is drinkable. And it's drinkable vodka! So, we like to use it for display. Yeah. We couldn't bear to drink it, so it's been here on the table for a very long time. Oh wow, look, you can see the details like this. Look at the lid as well. Mmm, yeah. It's got jewels and things on it. Mm. Makes a very good gift for <gasps> seeing almost, almost destroyed your camera. <laughs> How dare you! I actually bought these decorations a month ago and until now, I still haven't put them up yet. So after today's shoot, I can finally put them up on the uh, door. So I was thinking these two, I'll put them inside, on the inside of the door. It says Ying Chun Jie Fu and Zhao Tai Jing Bao, which uh, means inviting fortune and prosperity into the house and welcoming spring. And this one, I think is perfect for putting it outside the door because it says Chu Ru Ping An, which means it's wishing us peace and safety when we leave the house. So it's perfect. Photo shoot done! Yay! Yay. So we just shot a CNY photo for our Sing Medical Facebook page mm -hmm. and our Sing Medical TV outside Clementi Clinic. Check and it out. Uh, yeah, go check yeah, it out. Got past, come and see it. So this is today's makeup look and here are my props. <laughs> and we also featured this guy, the prosperous golden dragon of mm -hmm. Chinese New Year. Brownie points if you know who this is. Yeah, you want to get knows? it. You need to be an expert, an official to get this. A one. hint, these guys are the main antagonist in the Godzilla series. <laughs> Just too much in King Kong. <gasps> King Kong's not an antagonist, it's a protagonist. Mothra. Okay, so these guys are about to head to work. So you're going back to the clinic and you're going to rescue HQ to get the aircons fixed. So busy, busy day just before CNY. Here's a fun fact. Mm -hmm. I asked your mom what are the dates for CNY mm -hmm. and she said, what is CNY? <gasps> I was like, it's Chinese New Year. I realized it's a lingo for the younger generations. Mm. Like us whippersnappers. <laughs> We're still whippersnappers, is it? Yeah, hey, your mom didn't know what CNY was. She wouldn't, right? To her, it's like, um, she says it like, San Si Wan, Chu Yi, Chu Er, Chu San. Which is like the New Year Eve, New Year Day, first of the New Year, second and third day of New Year. Gong Si Fat Choi. Gong Si Fat Choi. All right, so it's just me left. Everyone has left the house. And this is how the house looks like now. Thanks to the shoot, we kept it speak and span. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys around and show you the final look of our CNY home decor. Okay, so this is my most favorite spot in the house. And this year is the year of the dragon. So we have this guy that you've seen many times in this vlog is King Ghidorah which uh, we have explained earlier that he is the main antagonist in the Godzilla series so it's really cool it's like three dragon heads you can't get more dragons than this and uh, I have some um, red packets here from the um, Star Soiree when I bought their clothes. So I'll probably have to start packing red packets in the next few days so these would come in handy. And uh, on this table I have some of my favourite things. So I have this table runner that I'm extremely fond of and I'll use every Chinese New Year. I actually got them a few years ago uh, while shopping my parents at Chinatown so I really love them. And here we have one of my Chinese New Year home decor staple. It is this vase that looks like a fine china vase which is super cool. 
perfect for Chinese New Year. So he has this interesting artwork with uh, references to famous movies and famous cartoon icons, which is like super cool. And I'll usually fill it with traditional Chinese New Year plants and flowers like these pussy willows. And I love how it just all works together. It is just unique and whimsical at the same time, such a perfect combination. And it's also, of course, perfect for the spring festival. Love it! Other things I have on this table is this tingkat container that is a traditional lunchbox. Received this many years ago uh, from a tea company. I cannot remember which one but it contained their teas and their snacks in there. So I've kept it ever since and used it every year for Chinese New Year. Another CNY staple, my cherry blossoms tree. <laughs> You'll see it in all my photos. And uh, this one we got many years ago, this little guy here. Ta-da! My lion dance head that we got for a rescue shoot and now it has become a uh, fixture also during Chinese New Year. Yay! Speaking of lion dance head, this is my favourite as well. I got this during a Disney event at Gardens by the Bay and it features my favourite couple, Daisy and Donald, doing the lion dance. Super cool! So on top of putting stuff on the mantel, I also place some decorations here at the bottom of the fireplace. So here are some fake hydrangeas. Hydrangeas actually represent abundance, beauty and grace. So I thought they're perfect for Chinese New Year. So here I have a basket of hydrangeas and some candles just to uh, add to the ambience of this area. Here's another decoration that I really love and it is a customized wooden orange carrier that I got from K Cottage Studio. Got it a few years ago so it has my uh, Chinese surname on it. I'm just gonna show you guys. Ta-da! So that's my surname, Zhuang, and I really love it. So it's here on both sides and uh, it has Bob Liana cuff into it, which means Bobby and Juliana. On the coffee table, I kept it super simple. So I have this teapot that I got many years ago from uh, Shanghai Tang. It is made of, um, it says here, Fine Bone China. Yep, so this is my favourite teapot set actually that I will always display during Mid-Autumn Festival and Chinese New Year. And I placed them on my uh, wooden coffee table, which I thought is perfect. Feels very zen in some way. Hmm. I'm a huge tea lover, so one of my favourite afternoon activities is just to sit here at this coffee table and just enjoy my freshly brewed tea. Ah, sounds like heaven. For the rest of the year, we usually keep the TV console very bare minimum, almost nothing. But um, during festive season, we will put some trinkets in there. And for Chinese New Year, I thought I could just put this really nice um, wooden boat tray and just put a couple of beads, some candles, and then some fake oranges and some decorations here. So as you can tell, my house has more greyish tones, so sometimes I like to add some warmth to it with decorations like this. So I thought the wooden boat tray goes very well with my uh, wooden coffee table over there, and it really amps up the warmth factor. And that's it. That's my entire CNY house tour for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And right now, I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek of what's to come in the next vlog. And I uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic Chinese New Year. Well, I thought I have to do this since it's the last vlog before Chinese New Year, so Xin Nian Kwai Long Ma Jing Shen everyone! Happy New Year! Oh, <laughs> 